to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be BSL Season 14 Hasu League, the losers match, which I'm doing before the winners match because we've got friend of the stream, Sony, aka Nooks, on site, upper right corner. He is starting as the Black Zerg, bottom right hand corner. We have Do Life starting as the Green Terran. This is going to be on uh, Metaverse, which I'll go ahead and show the map. Obviously, this is the big feature is that they've got these kind of narrow vertical map uh, vertical ramps which is kind of the map maker show button that you can do this now or that they figured out how to do it because so long for so long basically you could only have kind of the diagonal or even downward facing left hand side uh ramps but now they figured out verticals so check that out on metaverse natural expansion pretty standard you have this zelnaga temple that i think they're stacked and can be taken out you've also got a mineral field uh behind this couple eggs on the front so it's a it's a wide natural expansion to go ahead and defend but it is defendable you've got power generators blocking a potential three o'clock base at each location but there's also just a so it's one of those maps where and of course the double mineral double gas in the center it's one of those maps that encourages more mineral heavy play because there's just if you look on the map there's minerals absolutely everywhere but in order to secure those minerals you have to kind of go through stuff so oftentimes players will take down their own Zelnaga Temple, their own mineral field, to go ahead and walk up and take down this power generator uh, to go ahead and grab their base. But it's not, like, immediately accessible. It's not like you can just sneak that expansion. If you're going to sneak something, usually you got to walk and take this third. But you can see this third has kind of that good night style uh, 3 o'clock expansion where players can walk down and attack it from the high ground and be a considerable threat. And while I'm doing all this, I probably should have kept an eye on what Nooks was up to, because we know he's been more creative player. It looks like we're seeing a uh, 11 pool, possibly 12 pool, uh, or sorry, 12 hatch. You guys saw it. You know what's happening there. Overlord is making its way to the proper scouting location. Do life opening up with a standard barracks, not sealing his front door. SV is making its way to the bottom left-hand corner. So not dropping the ramp, not sealing things there. It looks like we are seeing a spawning pool on 11 and an extractor as well. I'm curious if we're going to see two hatch mutilists. That is the standard meta right now versus Terran. Overlord has been scouted, which should... Let's see if the SCV does the end around and moves location. Looks like it is going to start moving cross map. The SCV blockading the front momentarily. And the Overlord needs to get out of dodge because, well, let's see if the Marine goes for it. The Marine, that could have been risky because you don't know whether it's a... <laughs> Sony even calling it out like you scared there's some Zerglings out on the ground. Maybe. It's one nice thing about playing a little bit, being willing to do the five pulls occasionally, is, is you can kind of put players a little bit more off guard. Four Zerglings in production. We are seeing that layer morphing. Natural expansion is online, but not yet saturated. The SCV hanging out. Does see that hatchery being constructed. And thus far, that barracks remaining silent and just one racks into expansion for do life we'll see if he has enough which i i believe this is going to be two hatch mutilisk everything is indicating thus far two hatch mutilisk we'll see how do life adjusts into this if he's just so he's getting that refinery now one uh risk of going for this is just being a little bit uh, and staying on barracks light a little bit longer is a uh, and okay sorry this is what i was waiting for looks like we're gonna have the one racks ebay build to try to deal with this this is somewhat risky because it, I take it back, going one racks eBay and plopping down a second barracks uh, in the midst of this. However, this has been a long time where this barracks has been quiet. So only five Marines on the front. That might mean there's going to be fewer Marines to go ahead and deal with the initial mutalisks if Sony can hit that timing. Lair is online. Spire is mutating. There obviously is going to be engineering bay to go ahead and get that quick plus one weapons. And I'm waiting for that plus one weapons to potentially start. So there's that plus one weapons. But this is also risky because, yeah, when you have a, when you're going for this build, that natural expansion, because you have fewer Marines, this natural expansion ends up being more exposed. And this is a huge natural expansion that's not very blockadable. So once, so Sony actually going before there's anything here, diving in, the Zerglings flooding into the main, and they actually might be able to just sit right on top of these barracks and wipe out Marines as they're produced. It looks like he's going to go after SEV, trying to stall gas production. Another Zergling getting picked off. The Marines walking in. I wish he was more patient with this, to be honest, because those Zerglings now getting cleaned up. If he had waited 
for the Spire to finish and waited for the Mutalisks to come alongside. Or been a little bit more patient with this. I think he could have just wiped out this natural expansion. But instead, a lot of those Zerglings getting wiped out. That was a big early investment. Spire finishing now. And that was a large investment of Zerglings. So as the Spire's finishing, only one Mutalisk is able to take flight. So a bit rough for Sony. And honestly, I think he would have had... And that's just going to be more time... For this weapons upgrades to come online, it looks like a stim also being upgraded. But everything working, and this is the other thing, is, is this is a smaller ramp to try to run up. So it's much more challenging to sneak those Zerglings across. Sony responding, recognizing he's going to miss that timing. Going to go ahead and grab a hatchery in the bottom left-hand corner. Try to use the needles to go ahead and keep that Medic Marine Ball back. But Dewlife is playing this in such a way where... After he can survive, get that plus one weapons, get that marine range, he's going to have a lot of map control, have a very bullying marine force out. And we'll see if Sony, I mean, especially all of those Zerglings right off the bat that weren't drones, and just losing them, honestly, for not a great trade. Double Creek Colony being dropped, so maybe so, this oftentimes will indicate more aggressive Mutalisks in the early game. It doesn't look like plus one weapons is upgrading, though. Mutal is actually able to get in that natural expansion before Dewlife was able to get a turret online. So both players, and this is uh, still able to get the Mutalists out around the 630 mark in sizable numbers. So Sony still has room. He's dropped that natural expansion. A little bit of a rough game on both sides. Medic Marines starting to press forward. Level 1 Weapons is going to come online in not too long, and range is on the way. Poking away, able to wipe out that turret, but honestly, this, these are wins. Yeah, just keep hanging out over that natural expansion, do the damage. Bottom left-hand corner is up online. Hydralis Den being built as well. Do life continuing to produce Marines. Level 1 weapons is finished and just waiting on range now. But Sony, working on that command center, might be able to take this command center out. Needs to be careful, dodging out. Being caught a little bit off guard. Leaving them a little bit too far to the south. So one getting picked off. Yeah, needs to be babysitting those Mutalists. But he's paused Mutalist production behind all this. Dropped a third creep colony. It looks like he wants to go ahead and transition to Lurker. Rather than relying on Mutalisks from here. And move to the three gas economy play from there. And he does have the economic lead. So if he just sits back. Gets that three gas established. Keeps due life from killing him. See if he can grab, uh, go ahead, and it looks like he's going to grab a fifth hatchery in the bottom left. If he can get some lurkers down there, that is, again, with the small ramp, very easy to defend, but do life starting to march out on the field. Does have comsat, has not plopped it. The mule is still trying to do what they can. Looks like Seven still able to pick off a handful of Marines. That's keeping do life locked in position. But with that plus one weapons, yeah, just brushing that edge. A mule is getting wiped out again. Do life dropping that scan. I'm not sure where he dropped that, to be honest. Did he just drop that in his own base? Didn't think I mistimed on that. But the Mutal is just sitting over the barracks. Do life with an additional scan, checking that natural expansion, sees the three sunken colonies, knows he can't press into that. So the Marines going ahead and backing out and while that was happening, a huge mistake on Dulife's part because these Mutalists just able to maul the reinforcements. And there's still no turret over the natural expansion to protect in this gap. So the Mutalists still getting SCV kills. They're a little bit pinned in, might get wiped out. But there are lurkers to go ahead and provide support behind this. So two additional Mutalists being wiped out, but this was a great harassment behind all of this. Third gas is online. Only a, It looks like the drones are being transferred into this. Some, mutal, some uh, Hydralisks marching forward. So they're not going to sit on home base. Maybe going to try to get a whole position lurker somewhere mid-map. Maybe that was just a miss rally. We have some lurkers here at the natural expansion to provide that defense there. No Queen's Nest as of yet. Do life tacking on a fourth barracks. Is working on that plus one armor. Is behind economically is behind supply is two bunkers at the natural expansion looks like he is going to be able to take an overlord out which is going to put nooks in the red but he's got lurkers being built and they're at a little bit of a more forward location so potentially as marines are coming up this ramp 
That will be an absolute killing field, potentially. Mutalisks still are there to provide some harassment or some support. But it's going to be a ways before this little bit of delay with that third gas getting that queen's nest down and that hive online. And potentially wanting to play it more lurker hydra heavy in the mid game. And it is possible with the economy that Sony has rolling that he could just walk over his opponent with that. A little bit off meta though. Factory down, machine shop being dropped, starport being built. Do life having to rely on comsat, but having just kind of flustered as you can see, doesn't even know where to go. There's you've got all these something colonies here, you've got all the lurkers' eggs, there an evolution chamber being grabbed. There's the Queen's Nest in the main. It looks like they're now walking out finally to the bottom left hand corner. But no lurkers on the corner. And are they hold position as well is the next question. Not hold position there, but doesn't matter because do life walking in a straight line. So loses a significant amount of Marines. Still doesn't have a science vessel. So having to back out on the low ground. So nothing going right for do life. Looks like it is going to be a Zergling Scourge Lurker Swarm. The Scourge to go ahead and knock a potential science vessel out of the air. Sony looking to play Swarm Tactics in the mid game. Does have a significant supply lead. <clears throat> and white wants to wipe this army out as it's stranded in open field. Unfortunately going to be engaging on the low ground. The Scourge in position to see it. Mulus grouping up. Going to catch a siege tank that was trying to wander its way out. That siege tank is just going to get wiped. And Sony saying, okay, your army's out of position. You don't have any science vessels here. I'm just going to drop all my lurkers in the natural expansion in overwhelming numbers. Comsat dropping. The Marines getting obliterated. The SCV's trying to repair, but they're not long for life. And the Lurkers continuing to march forward. Sony dropping one Lurker and now taking the high ground of Dulai's natural expansion. And as the Marines walking in, they are getting obliterated. And Dulai doesn't have much of a standing army. He's having to fight against the high ground attack of his own natural expansion. Nice play on Sony to thread this army in. And he's getting SCV kills on this corner. Currently double the supply. But do life doing do life things, not calling GG yet, trying to recomsat now as this attack's coming from both directions. Is able to wipe that out, but more lurkers and lings walking into the natural expansion. Sony smelling blood in the water, just pressing this attack. The SEVs getting obliterated as they're coming through, so now do life has no natural expansion. Still trying to research a radiate, and I still haven't seen a science vessel in the air. The Lurkers walking on the barracks line. This is certainly GG now. As soon as you have Lurkers sitting on top of the barracks, they just obliterate the Marines as they're produced. Sony's certainly going to win this match. Grabbing an extra expansion just in case. Does have Hive Tech. Does have an Ultralis Cavern being dropped. Also has a Greater Spire Morphing, because why not? At this stage of things, looks like some Lurkers... Single Siege Shank in that Science Vessel ranging that Lurker, but Zerglings here as well. So a handful of them being wiped out, but do life. Yeah, I Sony would have to turn his keyboard over and just flip it over, empty out all the keys, and just be playing with only his mouse, and even then with his eyes closed to lose this. He is expending a lot of troops. He's just kind of uh, dropping a lot of free units here at the main, but it's going to be a cleanup operation to go. Yeah, that's lifted off. It's going to be a cleanup operation to wipe out what's left of the natural expansion. Plus, he has all of this other tech to work with. He's now morphing some Guardians here. Doing Zerg things. Hydralists marching in. They're like, you know what? I can attack air and ground. So go ahead and lift off your command center. It's still going to get taken out. A huge economy to work with. Double the supply. I don't think this command center is going to be able to get out. And honestly, it's probably a mercy to explode in the air over the natural expansion. Guardians walking in. And this is kind of a, go ahead and get out of the game now. It's okay to do so. But do life still not calling GG. Is this just a do life thing to not call GG a little bit uh, late there? Potentially, yeah, an irradiate to go ahead and pick one of them off. But things are just burning on fire. This is just the state of the Terran army. 
If I was Sony, honestly, I'd just plant a, bunch, a big lurker field down here and let do life come to me at this stage of things. The Guardian's finally getting cleaned up. Still, a, and I'm not sure that was even a cost-efficient exchange right there, to be honest. But it doesn't matter because Sony's running off four bases, is grabbing a fifth and getting that saturated. Ultralist Cavern starting to push those upgrades. No, it looks like there is a Defiler Mound. At the Natural Expansion, it looks like we do have some Defilers and Hydralisks to go ahead and engage this. So that's going to allow those Hydralisks, well, to walk in. They don't, they're not burrowed. Now do life calling GG finally. Very late GG, to be honest. And Sony going to go ahead and move on to the finals in this group A, which I am excited about. Because again, a friend of the stream, no offense to do life. It's just got to go with the, the personal friends <laughs> over the uh, people that don't come to stream. Guilt trip everybody out there that's a Hatsu League player. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.